Hi, today I'm gonna do an unboxing of the Aber Pro V7 1080p projector. This is the latest projector that Yaber released this year. This projector have a native 1080p resolution, unlike most of the projector that you will see in the market right now. They will advertise 4K, but it's actually a native 720 or lower. This projector have the best specification I've seen so far in the market. The Yaber Pro V7 1080p projector have a 12,000 to 1 contrast ratio and it have the 1080p native resolution. And if you look at the spec, it actually comes with Bluetooth 5.0. So you can also connect it to your home theater system. It also have a new feature called automatic 6D corrections. This is supposed to help you get a perfect rectangle image when you're watching your movie. So let's get started. So inside the box, you have the carrying case. So this thing out. And You have the cleaning kit and the instruction. You also get the plug. And inside this package, you got the RCA adapter. So if you have an old legacy devices, you can still use it for this one, which is good. It comes with an HDMI cable. A remote control. This one looks really nice. Cleaning cloth. And the instruction manual. In six different languages. And you can see the instruction manual is actually colored and have everything that you need here this is a nice backpack carrying case so you can actually carry it and bring it anywhere you want and it's very light also let me get the projector so this is the projector on top, it tells you how to use the Auto 6D Keystone Correction. You have the power button. This is a back button. Up, down, left, right, and a 6D button. Under the projector, you have the adjustable stand. So you can adjust the height of your projector. And if you remove this, you can actually put your tripod in this location. So let me put it back. And according to the manual, if you want to do a ceiling mount, you can remove these pads. And there should be a screw that you can use to put your ceiling mount. It's hard to remove right now, so I'm not going to force it. But behind the projector, you will see the power outlet it has an ir sensor two usb ports you have a headphone jack or audio jack you have an av which is basically for this one and you have two hdmi so what i was hoping is that one of this usb port or both usb ports should be able to supply power to a device like a fire stick Hoping that I can just plug the fire stick here on HDMI cable and then plug the power to the USB cable and hopefully that should give enough uh, power to the fire stick for it to operate. If you're looking at your projector like this, to the right side of it is, the, is where the air blows out. And on the other side, 
is where it sucks the air. And you also see here the focus ring. So this is a manual focus. So this one here, you can open this to clean your filter. Because there's a lot of uh, air going to be sucked into this projector to cool it. And this filter will prevent any dust from going into your system. To the front of the projector, you have the label, Yabber 1, 1 Yabber 1 Cinema. And you have the lens cover. So this cover is a little hard to remove. So the way to remove this is you want to adjust your focus ring. So you can push it down and it will come out by itself. Okay. And then after that, you can go back and focus your lens. So since this is a manual cover, if you're planning to put this projector on a fixed place like your ceiling or just put it permanently on the back of the uh, wall, then you won't be able to cover it back because once you do that, you're going to have to refocus your projector every time you turn it on. So that's the downside of it. Let's look at the remote. So the remote control also have the 6D button. The up, down, left, right. And this one have the volume button as well. The rewind and fast forward button. Back button. You have a home button and the power button of course and you have a mute button as well so you have the play button here and I'm not sure maybe this one is I'm not sure what this button for so this is 4.81 pounds or 2.18 kilograms it should be light enough for your tripod to support this if you have a sturdy one so let me try that and see how it performs during daytime for a quick test I set it up on my tripod so make sure you have a sturdy one and if you can see right now I actually turned on all the lights so I have that light I have the lights on the wall and I actually opened my window I have all the lights coming in the house right now and it is like sunny very sunny outside and you can see the projector is still clear you can actually watch movie from here let's see if I remove uh, close my window And let me turn off the lights. So this is where when the lights are turned off and the um, windows are closed. So it's it's a lot clearer right now. Definitely if you're just gonna set this up inside your house maybe if you have a den or a home theater that you want to set up you can use this any time of the day okay so it's good news the fire stick can be powered by the USB port in the back so that's enough power let me if you haven't subscribed yet please click the subscribe button I'm gonna be playing with this some more and I'll update it with another video with all the features in it